Hey guys, this is Transformers Kid 2 back with another video review. Today we're going to be looking at Universe Nemesis Prime, uh, a San Diego Comic Con exclusive in 2008. Still available at the Hasbro Toy Shop for AFA graded figures, which are expensive. Back here I have my unopened version. This is my uh, open version. So, this is a request by, I believe, Metabot Soundwave. If I'm wrong, I'm going to fix it with an annotation, but I'm pretty sure it's by Metabot Soundwave. So, let's get into the review. Uh, so here we have him in his vehicle mode, which is, he is a repaint of Classics Optimus Prime. Uh, you can tell by how this is the plane grill and this pattern, this uh, silver design was featured on the um, uh, Optimus Prime version. He does have a new... This camera is not good at focusing. He does have a new um, Decepticon logo. Now I have green light. I can change green. There's blue windows. They are blue. Not green. That's this light that I have. It's green. Green light. But, uh, anyway. He has some teal headlights. Don't want it to be zoomed in that far. He is Voyager. Forgot to mention it. Um, I do have the, uh, Shadow Commander armor set. I'm gonna re be reviewing that next. I decided to review this separately. So, let's get oop, to the transformation. Raise the camera up. I start by pulling off these smokestacks and the wind vane. I'll just set those to the side. Take these panels and flip them back over the wheels. And then just straighten out the legs here. Flip up the feet and the heel will come out with it. Flip up these knee pads. Camera. I'll just go over here. We'll open up these. It'll just come out like that. Bring them forward and then rotate them up. Go over here to the back. Bring this down. Flip the head up. Just the head. Bring this panel up. This one down. And this one back up. And rotate this around. It's supposed to have a ratchet, but mine that once did, well, it came without a ratchet, and then it one day just kind of had it, and then it went away. I'll just fold up this bumper and push that down. Take the hands here, flip them out. It's the hand right there. I'll fold that out. Split the legs. Bring the arms down, straighten them out, and just wrap this around. What I do is I hold the arm, or I, I hold this part and move the arm, and just rotate. And rotate the head around a little bit. Okay. Okay, weapons, take the wind vane, and you just kind of fold these up. Now, there's a little thing right there. That's actually the handle. And then you just want to flip this up, flip the back. Oh, that's actually the handle he's going to hold. You, this, you just bring these out. These little things right here, just inside here, bring those out. And fold it in on itself and you got a gun which has this kind of detailing on it see that? very nice okay um... he has painted red eyes it's not really working with a green light he has painted red just trust me. He has painted red eyes with blue light piping, which gives off a purple glow. Which, if you ask me, purple is pretty evil. 
can. He has this giant, which makes his head come forward. It's really evil. Yeah. Um. Articulation: the head can rotate 360 degrees. Move down about that far. And the arms can rotate 360 degrees. Move in and out. Swivel 360 degrees. Then forward at the elbow. And backwards at the elbow. Um, the upper half can rotate 360. Uh, the, the waist can rotate 360. Legs can move up, back, out, bend at the knee pretty far, and pivot at the foot. Oh, rotate. That, that joint. Um, he does have another Decepticon logo right there. Overall, it's a, it's a nice figure. He can hold both of these weapons. Uh, this is a new camera, and I'm not exactly sure how to freeze frame or cut. Edit, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. But this gun's too big. This one's pretty good, but, but what I do bring this back and peg this on. Bring it over his shoulder. Turn his head down. Bring this gun up. And that's that's pose right there. It's a good pose. Uh, there's not much else I can say. I'm surprised I've only taken up seven minutes, and yet I can cover ten. Oh, right. Size comparison. He is a Voyager, so he's Voyager sized compared to an animated activator, such as Thundercracker. Whose review is also on my channel. He's uh he's tall. He's not tall for a Voyager, but he's a good size. He's nice and bulky. Well, since I've covered as much as I can about the figure, I might as well cover the box. You're using box, body shot, all that stuff. This is a mint and sealed box. It has this thing right here. That's how I got it. I got both of these at the Hasbro toy shop. Uh, might as well transform them back. Why not? Alright. Start by removing his weapons, and you can't see his head. Just gonna rotate the head around, hold it down, bring that up. Fold down the bumper here. I'm just gonna rotate that and fold it out. Flip in the hand and bring them up. Now I don't know. This camera is higher quality than my phone, so I don't know if 10 minutes is gigabyte. It just doesn't get rejected. Fold these down. Flip down the feet. Rotate the upper half around. Bring this up. Pull the arms in. I might as well do this because Shadow Commander review is coming up next. I'll just pull these in. Pulls in. These over. And peg this on. And smoke stack can. Pegs on to two holes in the back here. Okay, um, this is Transformers Kid Two. Say and subscribe to Sean Logs' channel and my channel. Check out all my videos and Metabot Soundwave. I hope this was uh, well. Actually, this wasn't requested by him. He requested this Shadow Commander armor set, but that will be the next review. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Transformers Kid Two rolling out.